So I've been asked a lot recently by friends, coworkers, people I see on the street, how do you do your eyebrows? How can I get my eyebrows to look like that? What product should I use, etc.? cetera? Um, this video is something that's definitely out of my comfort zone, so bear with me. But um, I'm gonna show you how I fill in my eyebrows, starting with a fresh face. Um, so right now all I have on is moisturizer. So the first thing when you are filling in your eyebrows is <clears throat> I see a lot of girls who overpluck, overpluck, overpluck. Um, big portion, like you don't want your eyebrows to start, you know, in the middle of your eye. So I don't, I'm lucky enough to not have a unibrow, so I don't pluck at all right here. Um, but if you do pluck in the middle, just make sure that you're not plucking past like the beginning of your, like your inner corner. Um, also, um, I pluck very little off of my eyebrows. You probably couldn't tell because I have like no eyebrows. <laughs> um, I just pluck like just barely underneath the arch. Like I get like random hairs or like above here, I get like a couple of random hairs. So I just pluck that and I don't do it until after I've, um, done my eyebrows. So anywho, um, over plucking is a crime. Just kidding. Um, so I have a bunch of products that I grabbed here. Um, there's cheaper versions too, so, uh, bear with me. <clears throat> okay, so, first off, this is the eyebrow brush that I use, and the name is completely worn off of it because I've had it for a while. <laughs> but this came with a Anastasia brow kit. It came with, um, like the brow powder, and then it also came with, um, their brow gel. You can get it at Ulta. It's awesome. I love this brush because it's like very stiff and you can't really see, but it's like thin. So it can create like thin lines and then I like having the spoolie there too. Um, so I use that to, the first product that I put on my eyebrows, this is like kind of my go-to product. This is the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So, um, this stuff is kind of like gel eyeliner, if you've ever used gel eyeliner. And uh, mine's like old and kind of... So I've only actually went through two of these ever. Um, they last me forever because you really don't want to use a lot of product. If you use a lot of product, you're going to end up with sharpie brows, if you know what I mean. Uh, very aggressive brows. So um, what I do is I just kind of dip my brush in here. And I kind of do it on the side. Oh, sorry, I can't. On the side. On the side. And then that's like way too much product. So then I, okay, hold on, let me. Um, too much product. So then I just take it and I just go on the sides and I wipe it off so that there's barely anything on there. So I have to look in my mirror now because I won't be able to. But I always start, um, when I have the most product on there, I always start like in the arch of my brow um, first. So that's the first line I draw. I just draw a line underneath my arch. Just I'm just following my natural brows and start there and then I'll do the top portion too. See? So now I just drew the top line and then now it's like coloring in the lines. Okay, so now that I colored in the lines, now I'll start to, there's not that much product left on the brush, which is good. I don't want there to be because once you get to the front of the brow, it should um, kind of fade. Um, if it's really, if, if, if it is as dark in the front of your brow as it is in the arch in the back, you're going to start to look, you know, like a drag queen or, you know, like you have costume makeup on or that sort of thing. So now I'll just start to bring it up. Um, the next thing that I like to do is just kind of finish that bottom line. And I'm super shaky right now because I'm nervous. <laughs> and then I just kind of start gently filling in as I get closer to the front of my brow. And again, I'm just following the natural shape of my brow. 
Um, one thing that I didn't mention is you see how this brush is slanted? You want to make sure that you, depending upon which direction you're going, the short end should always be going or facing the direction that you're going to pull the brush in. Um, if you do this way and then you pull this way, you're going to just, you're, the brush is only going to be touching you right here and it's not going to do what you want it to do. So, um, uh, so at this point, usually is like where I'll stop if I'm, you know, trying to do my makeup really fast. So, uh, recently, this is like a very recent thing that I started doing more than this and I'll show you. I just have a makeup wipe here and I'm just wiping the product, like whatever's left over on here because I'll use this brush again here in a second. Um, so recently what I was noticing is like I would have like kind of a little bit of harshness on my brows, like you can kind of see it there. And I just felt like it wasn't even everywhere. Um, this really just kind of makes things blend a little bit better. Um, but then even then I was still just not liking how it looked like I felt like it wasn't like dark enough over here or whatever. So anyway, I started using my brow powder too. Um, sometimes I'll use this and not the pomade, but using them in combination is like a really recent thing for me. <clears throat> so this is the tote one. And my dip brow is in blonde. So I have like super blonde highlighted hair. Um, so obviously I, I don't want my brows to be as light as my hair because then you, you wouldn't be able to see them really. Um, so I do them a little bit darker. For girls with like darker hair, I'd say do it a little bit lighter. So if you have um, like dark brown hair or black hair, I would do like a little bit lighter than your hair. So anywho, I actually use the darker of these two colors. Um, and I will show you what I do. So I just... I just barely dip it in here, side to side, tap it off. If you don't tap it off, like, it'll just kind of, like, break off on your face. Um, and then I just take this where I feel like my brow just needs to be filled in a little bit more. All right, start in the outer portion again. And I'm just coloring in the lines that I've always already created. And I take some more product, tap it off. You gotta be careful when you get to the inner corner not to put too much again because this is actually really dark and you can just use this you don't have to use the pomade too and I would say that if you're a beginner to makeup or you know you don't normally do your brows and you're just like trying to get started I would for sure suggest just doing a powder because the pomade is a little bit I don't want to say it's difficult to use because I really like it but um a little bit more challenging if you're just starting out. So, there is one eyebrow. I will do the other one so that you can see as well. Probably won't talk as much though, but if you know me, you know I'm a quote unquote chatty Cathy. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning my brush again with a makeup wipe. I always have a makeup wipe here. And I feel like the pomade goes on my brush better if I use a makeup wipe first. Like get it a little bit wet with the makeup wipe. I don't know why, but it does. So that's what I do. So again, like the smallest amount of product is what I put on there. And I'm gonna wipe this off because this is too much. Okay. So like such a little amount. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna move my mirror maybe. wish I wasn't shaking. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so again, I started right underneath my arch and drew a line. Now I'm going to go above my arch and draw a line. <clears throat> now I'm going to fill it in. One day, Chris saw me doing this, and he was like, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You, you draw an outline. So I was like, ooh. 
and you must be watch this. Ta-da! So I kind of messed up like the top line, so I'm just like trying to fix it while I'm drawing it in. It's not a perfect science, unfortunately, especially when you're shaky and nervous. Which, whenever I do makeup or like I have somewhere to be or I'm nervous, I start shaking. It sucks. So, obviously that's not enough of an eyebrow yet. Um, so then I barely have any left and I'll start bringing it into the front here. Again, I like to finish up the bottom line here first. And I'm just going with where my natural brows are. You just, you just can't see them. The beauty of being a blonde. I wish I had brown hair and luscious, luscious brows. But we all want one we can't have. I'm not feeling this brow today, but it'll be a good trick. So I'm spooling it to make it look um, less aggressive. And I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to start using the, um, the powder. So these are more, uh, I won't say these are expensive because they're not like super expensive, but like this pomade is $19 at Ulta, um, which isn't bad considering it lasts me like at least half a year, probably longer than that. Um, I used to use brow pencils and you go through those like really fast, way more worth it. And then this, I can't remember how much this was because um, it came in a pack, but um, I've also had this for like ever, like probably longer than they recommend. Um, but they have, a, they have a NYX brow powder duo that I used to use all the time and I actually really liked it. I would just recommend getting a different brush because the brush that comes with that one is like very thick and so it's hard to um, make your brows how you want them when you have a thick brush because then it just, you can't do like thin, dainty lines like that or ooh, like this, you know, where it comes to a point and it starts to get thicker at the end. Anywho, okay, I'm going to stop being try to copy and finish. Okay, so I put powder on each side, tap it off, and then I'll start out in my outer corner again. And I was like, oh, what the heck, like, that one's already kind of dark. It's because I started doing the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to go back to this one, which is what I was doing. So, whenever <clears throat> I do my brows, there's always one that I like better than the other. And today is definitely not an exception. Um, so I always get kind of frustrated, but then I'm like, okay, like, you're being a perfectionist. You're staring at them. People always compliment your brows. Like, don't even worry about it. I feel like we're always too hard on ourselves. So right now, I'm, like, not satisfied with this brow, but we're going to leave it be. Um, once I put on the rest of my makeup, I start to feel a lot better, too. I'll show you what it looks like once my makeup's done because if I were to go out like this, like my eyelashes, you can't see because they're blonde as well. I would look crazy. Like people are like, oh, like they're a little aggressive for having no other makeup on. Um, I do want to show you a couple more things though. So these are brow gels, various brow gels that I have. This is the Anastasia one. And this one, so basically what brow gel is, I feel like the other girls don't understand what it's for or why to use it or whatever. Um, it is basically hairspray for your eyebrows and it just holds them in place especially if you have like longer thicker brows they kind of just want to like hang down or like sometimes you get pieces that hang down um and that sucks so this just sets it in place and this one i will say like when i put this on if i touch my eyebrows like they feel like crunchy almost <laughs> so like this stuff like does not mess around it will hold them in place for sure um i'm also kind of a cheapo like you know me, you know that I'm a 
pretty frugal person, and I try to save money when I can um, on anything. So um, there was Essence, the little E. Um, sorry, my nails are really bad. Uh, I got this from Target or Ulta or somewhere. Anyway, Essence, I've tried a bunch of their products, and I actually really like a lot of their stuff, especially their lip liner. Um, but this was like two, maybe three dollars, like super cheap. And this does the trick. It doesn't hold it in place as well as the Anastasia one, um, but it is a fraction of the cost. So if you are like me and you want to save some dough, get this one. And another one. Um, I typically use this one if I don't actually do my brows um, because this one adds color. This one has like a little tiny spoolie. I'll show you. It's like a little baby spoolie. Um, but this one adds color and you can get um, the colored ones in Anastasia too, uh, but again, I'm kind of cheap and this does the trick. So this is a Essence one as well, and again, probably two or three dollars maybe. Um, you can get Ulta, Target, those are the two places I've got it from. Um, so when I use this one, because it has color on it, I start in my um, arch and go down, and then once there's less product, then I kind of bring it up, and I'm really careful as I get into the inner corner. I'm not going to put it on right now because there's plenty of color on my eyebrows as is um but when I put on the clear stuff I'll put this one on for you so you can see this one has a bigger spoolie um I, I just kind of go wherever I think my habit is to always start in the arch because that's what I do with color so but and truthfully those are the hairs that you want to hold back a little bit more anyway sorry I'm looking at my mirror behind the computer because I'm having a very hard time with this whole right and left business being opposite. Clearly, I do this all the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I am going to finish up doing the rest of my makeup, and I'll show you. Oh, one more trick. Um, obviously, if I had, like, foundation and everything already on, and I did my eyeshadow, um, a really, something that I really like doing is, like, just right here. I'll show you, maybe, once I put on the rest of my makeup. Um, just putting, uh, get a lighter color eyeshadow for a highlight. Um, sometimes I like, there are days that I fall in love with like matte highlights, so like I'll use that white, the stark white color. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, as I get older, pushing 30 these days, I like feel kind of weird sometimes if I'm really sparkly. Um, and then other times I'm like, I wake up like this and I don't care. But uh, the other color that I really, really like using for my brow bone highlight, as I like to call it, um, is this color right here. And this is the Naked Basics Urban Decay palette. I actually really like this. I think it's only like $27. Um, and it's called Venus. So um, I'll use one of those on my brow bone today. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to go do my makeup. Okay, I'm back. Um, that was, this is like my quick, quick makeup because the only place that I'm going today is the grocery store and I typically uh, don't wear makeup at all if I don't want to. Um, I'm not the person who um, wears makeup every single day, every time I leave the house, that sort of thing. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I think I'm kind of lazy maybe. Um, I do makeup for fun though, so like sometimes I'll just be sitting at home and doing nothing and I'll just do my makeup because I'm bored and I like to play and it's like... I don't know, this is gonna be weird, but like artwork kind of. Um, so when I say that like this lasts me forever, it's because I, I don't use it every day. Um, and like if I once wasn't doing this video, I probably wouldn't have done my makeup today. Um, usually when I work, I work as a nurse, so um, don't worry, I'm not quitting my day job. Um, I don't typically wear makeup because I don't exactly want people to find me attractive at work. <laughs> um, so I did, well, which eyebrow did I do? I did a little bit of a highlight on, or a brow highlight on this eyebrow. Um, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I was going to show them. So I didn't do it yet on this eyebrow. Um, so I chose to do my spark. Oh, sorry. That was really, I decided to do my sparkly one. Again, this is called Venus. So I just put a little bit on the brush and I like to use like a little flat brush for this. Tap it off. And then, ooh, sorry, this is like right in the middle of my mirror behind. Um, just start like my high point of my arch and put the most product right there. 
because wherever you touch first is going to be where you get the most and then it's kind of spread it out. I used to like bring this all the way into the like underneath the brow. Um, I don't do that anymore. But then it should just kind of blend in with your transition color. I don't really have a lot of eyeshadow on. I just put um, a couple of light colors just in my crease just to give a little bit of definition. And then I just, um, on my easy days when I'm doing my makeup really fast, I just do, uh, I literally used <laughs> this, uh, this black color here for my eyeliner. <laughs> um, because powder or eyeshadow for eyeliner is actually like the easiest, most, most foolproof way that you can do your eyeliner. So if you struggle with that, for sure, try doing that. And then the brush that I use to put it on is just a flat brush. This is a Morphe brush. And Morphe is actually a really good brush brand for um, cheap, um, good quality brushes. It's the M403T. Um, and then I can show you, because I was talking about Essence stuff. Um, I swear they're not sponsoring me today. <laughs> um, this is the lip liner. Um, this is like my favorite lip liner. It's Essence and I don't even know what color it is. Oh, Satin Mauve. So I have it on right now. Literally, I just like lined my lips with it and then kind of blended it in. But I just feel like it's like a very pretty natural color without looking like you can tell I have something in my lips, but it doesn't look like I tried too hard or anything like that. Um, so anyway, these are my finished brows. Um, I mean, it, this video makes it seem like more difficult than it actually is. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them below in the comment section. I'd love to answer them for you. Um, and feel free to share this video with your friends if you'd like. Um, I will list the products in the comment section. So if you want to buy any of them, you can have them in the description. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.